What's going on guys? My name's Ian Binnick. I'm the founder of Optimize Your Marketing, where we help B2B SaaS startups uh, create digital marketing machines super fast, faster than full-time hires, faster than most digital marketing agencies. In fact, only in 60 days or less. So uh, we have a great offer and I just like to plug it all the time. But we are talking about defining customer steps and problems in this video. In the previous videos, we've talked about um, picking a niche and the problems that are associated with that niche and how you can solve them. We talked about pricing and why you should price high and not low because you can go infinitely high with price and bring infinite value, but you can only go so low with price uh, before you hit zero and bring less value. And then last, uh, our last most previous video, we talked about value offers, which include dream outcomes, perceived likelihood of achievement, delays in getting work done, and um and effort i don't know why i just like brain farted there but anyway we're gonna be talking about defining customer steps and problems in this video so let's just jump into it let's imagine your prospect is here on the left and their dream outcome is here on the right there is multiple things that happen before they can get to their dream outcome and so that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be defining like an A, a B, a C, a D, a E, and so on before they can get to their dream outcome. So kind of people kind of say this about running. They say, you know, taking one step, going one more mile before you can kind of finish like a marathon. Um, I'm a big runner myself. And so I kind of relate to that. Um, it's how you can break down a big, ugly goal into steps. And it is essential that you are able to define your ideal customer steps to their dream outcome. Otherwise, you risk them not really feeling understood. And if you if they don't feel understood or you don't answer potential objections, they could leave your website, your email, your ad or whatever at any point because you can have the best website ever. But if you do not have all of this information on there, they're just going to leave. They're just not going to care because they don't feel understood and no one buys from someone whenever they feel like they were not heard and they were not their um you know their dream outcome was not taken into consideration so you want to educate your prospect and show them that you know every step that they need to take to get to their dream outcome and you're going to show them how easy it is to work with you so um let's get started i'm just looking at my notes here these are going to be listed in the description they always are so if you have questions just let me know or you know like in the comments or just look at the notes because i'm basically reading off of this um and in the future i'm probably going to organize these videos a lot better but for now we you know taking all these notes on my ipad so alas anyway so let's break down an example of how we have defined steps for our prospects and the problems and pain points that are associated with each one of them. Again, like we said, at each step, there's gonna be problems and pain points, and we wanna have solutions for each one of those problems and pain points so that they feel understood and they feel heard. And it's important to answer all problems because you never really know what one of your prospects, potential problems, or the one that's most top of mind is gonna be. And so it's really important to address all of them. That way, there's way less of a chance for them leaving your page. So in our example, our ideal customer profile is a B2B SaaS company with product-led growth, and they have a pretty strong understanding of their customer persona. Um, and it, and you know, at very most their ICP, which is the, their ideal customer profile. That would be, that would be our ideal niche customer. So that being said, we generally start with the CMO's needs. So CMOs need to, th this is, um, we're going to be going through steps here. So CMOs need to choose an agency, but many things prevent him or her from deciding. So number one, this, now we're going into problems. It's, it's too hard. They, they worry they'll choose the wrong one. That's a problem. Number two, it requires a ton of money. Number three, it requires long months and potentially years of work. Once an agency is even chosen. Number four, it's less exciting because they will likely have other clients. The agency that they choose will likely have other clients. So there won't be enough focus on the CMO's company. And the list goes on. There's tons of things that you could list out here. Defining these problems at each step will not only enhance our owned assets like our website, but they will also demonstrate that we really understand our customers. Now, once we define all the problems in that step, we go to the next step. 
And we, so for the next step, we would move on to, you know, usually getting access to platforms. How, how do they get access to platforms? Um, and we would proceed to list out all of the problems that they may have um, with, you know, related to acquiring access to platforms and sharing those with people. And we'll go through every single step. And there, there could be like 10 steps. You need to assign and, and figure out all of the potential problems that happen in each one of those steps. So one important thing to note when defining a problem is that it's key to choose direct problems that relate to the value offer, which is what we talked about in the last video. So choosing problems that can be identified um, and, and related to potentially the dream outcome, the perceived likelihood of achievement, the delay that you bring, uh, the delay, you know, the amount of time that it takes you to complete the offer and the effort or sacrifice that your client will have to do to reach their dream outcome. Those, those pieces should guide each one of your steps. So at least you should always have at least four problems in every step of the way because there's four pieces of the value offer. Now, the more you list here, the more you can solve, which will ultimately strengthen your offer. So again, your prospect is here. This is their dream outcome. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Those are all of the steps and it's important to lay those out on your website. That's all I have here today. Again, check out the description for more information and just kind of re uh, reviewing the notes. They're handwritten, so don't, don't hate me if you can't read my writing, but this is an incredibly important part and the very beginning of you know actually developing your offer because after this part after you've defined the problems you are going to be going into developing an offer which is defining all potential solutions to these problems you just listed and we're going to talk about that in the next video if you're finding these helpful there's a whole playlist of them feel free to subscribe because we're going to have new videos all the time we're constantly finding new ninja chip nin ninja tips uh, for digital marketing things um, and the reason why we're doing this is because a lot of the stuff is not online and we're trying to take full advantage of the fact that it's not online. There's no blogs on a lot of the things that we're finding. There's no, there's, there's just no videos on a lot of the stuff that we're talking about here. And so our, vi our videos are going to be actually really valuable and a great way for you, for you to stay up to date on the latest digital marketing trends. And it's completely free and takes zero of your time. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.